I just remember from the beginning, I had the, the inclination to hustle, to work, and to create things that maybe people would want. Stumbled into body bonus from training at the gym. A couple of friends went to a show. I went to the show, and I was watching them. And I saw they were putting this oil on, just like baby oil. That's what they were using. And then the light bulb went off. I never knew it would it would last this long. I got the bug. I got the bug. Yeah, I was born Stacy Ross Kaufman, North Miami, Florida, 1964. Owner, founder of Performance Brands, makers of Pro Tan and Steel Fit. Seven fifteen and eight fifteen, and then we jump on the phone a little bit. Last night, I'm with China from a production standpoint. Chinese New Year. It's a challenge right now for us as a company because this New Year comes off on you so quickly. I'm looking here at my emails this morning. We got a couple delays on some some shipments. Getting up every day, grumping and grinding is is awesome. Lucky I got this wonderful wife here that looks after me, making it easy for me. So, it's good. All right, we're signing out of our house. We got, we ready to roll. We got, uh, oh, we're waiting for Rob. I think Rob's picking us up here. Where, oh, there he is. He's here. Let's see, let's get this kid. Let's see what it looks like. I really see all the hard work that my dad put down when he was growing up. I mean, the stories that not only he tells me, but that I hear from the great legends of bodybuilding that I see. It really uh, just gives me a lot of respect for everything he did. He dropped out of uh, college at 19 to start his business, and he just built it from the ground up. Pro tan, I mean, it's iconic. And, I, and I'm, I'm in the oil business. You say oil business, like, yeah, suntan oil, that's what I do. That's how he really started with suntan oil. My first product was called Suntan U, which was what I made at the factory when I first started working. Where I first originally worked was only where I did my suntan product, my, sun, my tanning oil, which I sold us on the beach. Put a little bicycle up and down the beach, put it on ice, saw the coconut grove bed races, all these fun things. Sat on the sat on the beach, chilling out. People stopping by and buying stuff, and uh, it was fun. It was, good, it was a good time. Stumbled the body bonus from training at the gym. A couple of friends went to a show. I went to the show and I was watching them. I you know I never been to a bodybuilding show. And I saw they were putting this oil on, just like baby oil. That's what they were using. And it's my light bulbs. I make sun oil. You know, maybe my oil is all natural, look better. And started asking questions to some of the photographers there, and they were telling me about the blind spots created from the baby oil. Like, you know what? And then the light bulb went off, and I made original muscle up PPO, professional posing oil, which was for men and women. The difference was the fragrance. I thought that the men would want one fragrance, women would want the other. And that was in '84, and. Uh, it went over great. People loved the oil and photographers loved it. I was applying oil in it and it really worked. It, it, it showed their definition on stage about the blind spots. And that was the start of Original Muscle Up. That's how I started. Learned a little bit, went to the shows and started realizing that people were, were looking, you know, for, for products possibly to, to enhance what they look like on, on stage. And, you know, we started off with the oil, and we came out with a soap for acne, because back then acne was rampant in, in the athletes, and we came out with a stretch mark cream, because we thought stretch marks would be big, came with a stretch mark supplement. And uh, it was then I stumbled onto a product that was used in the medical industry for a skin disorder called vitiligo, I think we mentioned that, and it was to cover up white spots for people. It was very disfiguring back in the days, you know, a lot of people felt they weren't socially accepted from that. And, reached out to that company and actually spoke to the owner of the business, he's a really nice guy. And he said, yeah, I'm selling, I hear people, the Bibles are buying it. And he said, well, I'm gonna do a product. And he said, yeah, go for it. And you know, he's a nice guy, his name was Alan Lachman. And uh, I actually was involved in the Bit of LIGO Foundation to understand really what the product was used for. And then recognize that the bodybuilding would just catch on and qualify. So it was interesting and, and we wrote in 1987 and, uh, and you know, put on a little paintbrush. I was then, like I was doing the tanning, I had the, I had the posing oil, I had a stretch mark cream, I had a soap for acne, because back then I was prevalent, I had a vitamin for stretch marks. So it was really focused, but after finally stumbling into that product called Dioderm, I, 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 had, I got lucky. I had a chemist, his name was Mr. Bill. Uh, he was a gem, I mean, he was just an older man that, that 
took into me like as if I was his long lost grandson and I'd literally sit in the lab with him for hours and hours and I, you know, I, you got this product and I said, Let's, I need to make something like this and we, we worked tirelessly and painted stripes to make sure it worked and I just got motivated, just like this is fun, you know, I, I could see this happening. I, I didn't know we'd be all over the world, I mean, I, we're in over a hundred countries. Stuff, and I remember we ran an ad in this magazine called Iron Man. It's still around now, but it's not the original Iron Man. It was this gentleman named Perry Mabel Raider. Just a strong man back in Nebraska. And he was the nicest people, him and his wife, older people. And we used to run these small ads in there and had a little P.O. box. And before I knew it, I started to get these mail orders coming in for this posing oil and these stretch mark creams. And it was just weird to see that people send you money without even knowing you. I never knew what it turned out to be. I didn't know. I was in school. I was working a bouncing job. I was working at the cosmetic factory for years, just doing what I could do, and one thing led to another, and uh, slowly but surely, you know, we were able to build a business. And, you know, it's, it's life, it's a journey. There's so much detail about it, I just look at, you know, where I came from, where, where we're going now, you know, fast forward so many years later, you know, being married, at a young age, having a kid, you know, I got married, got pregnant, had a baby, bought a house on the same weekend, basically, so. It, it, it was kind of a uh, fast forward. Then you got mouths to feed and bills to pay, and it just was fun. It was fun. It was a, it was a challenge that has, has shaped me who I am today as a businessman and as a parent. I think I'm a good parent. I like to be. I think I'm a very good husband. I work hard at that, and I try to be a good friend to the friends I have and try and be a, a good role model for the people that I come into and treat people the best we can. And that's. That's part of the business I learned. That's that just taught me from business, being exposed in the bodybuilding and meeting so many unique individuals and traveling to all these shows. I mean, I don't remember what year it was. One year I did 36 shows. 36 shows. There's only 52 weekends in a year. South was a pretty hot place for bodybuilding. In fact, there was a gentleman uh, that I became friends with. You know, of course, you know, Jim Mannion was a gentleman I met early on, and uh, he's a great guy, and we hit along great. He, he looked out to me as if I was his son. You know, JM, his his sons. Two years older than me, and we were friends when we were kids, and just now well, was before Jamie even had a camera, um, which was kind of funny. He didn't know what he wanted to do, but kind of talked to me and got access to different things. And there was a guy down here named John Carl Meese so that was very heavy into the NPC. He was the Florida chairman, and met with him and became friends with him. And great, you know, the NPC portion of, of, of where we came from is a big part of it. And I remember just like the history. I'm building the business. And when we were out in the magazines, and then the NPC was evolving, and then they wanted to do a newsletter, and Jim had asked me about this thing, and I said, hey, do you want to be the sponsor? I'm like, uh, yeah, I love to sponsor it, and yeah, gave them $5,000. That was a lot of money back then for me to be to print the first NPC newsletter, which was black and white. And uh, just year after year, we built relationships, and I met thousands of bodybuilders, thousands of bodybuilders, thousands of people. And uh, that was the days when I was involved with the Weeders. Joe Weeder took me under his wing and gave me some great uh, opportunities to, to advertise, which was Muscle and Fitness back then. That was the only magazine he had. And he looked after me, gave me these endemic rates, and allowed us to advertise our pro tan and our posing suits at a very reasonable price. And that, that was, a, that was a, a strong point in our business. It, it, it was, uh, you know, we got exposed to the industry because we were part of the industry. I'll never forget Joe, you know, if you know Joe, which you guys don't, he passed away, but Joe was, uh, he's a great guy, he, he was friendly, always thoughtful, always wanted to give you advice. I was fortunate enough to go to the Weeders office many times back in the days, it was a palatial office uh, in the heydays, and uh, they just treated me like, you know, this. they were just great, you know, they liked me, they were fun, and would do whatever he could for me, you know, he'd say, whatever you need. Basically, whatever you need, I'm there to help you. You know, I, I really like what you're doing. You know, I've never seen this before, and I'm really a big fan of it. And we're gonna help you. I'm like Joe, thank you so much. And uh, he was great. He was great. I met a lot of great people. I think of the great, the great memories I had with so many of the athletes and some fun moments. Hey, Sean. Yes. How long have I known you? Dude, we met back in 1987. Uh, 30, 30 years. So 31 years. 31 years. Yeah. 31 years. Yeah. And we've been friends ever since. Yeah, man. It goes. It's a chance meeting. <laughs> it changed you. the game, man, because it was the whole. It was the whole package: the coloring, the condition, the lighting, and then the oil, the application, all of that stuff. Kind of for me, launched my career in terms of the polished look. 
and I never competed without the Pro Tan Sense. Thank you. And you, all, and you had a great, I mean, you always had great color. A lot of genetic color, which would help, but we'll, it, take, we'll take the compliment. It helped, but I think the most important thing was to know is that even with the color, a nice base tan actually makes you glow because that's, you have that radiant look already. So that, that was like putting wax on the car. Exactly. And, and helped me get to the finish line. It made all the difference in the world. I'm at Station Airport and we start talking and he's like, I want Pro Tan and it should let me tan you. That's where it started at. Yeah, you know, Pro Tan was like, <laughs> he was selling them out the garage. I have been devoted to Stacy all these years, you know. I'm loyal to whoever's my friend. I've always been loyal to them. You know what I'm saying? So um, I've never tanned with anyone else. It's always been Pro Tan. I love the color, I love what it did to me. And I continue using it ever since. You know what I'm saying? So then they start developing, you know, more, making it even better and better. Also, it's her telling me some little tricks on how to make it better, you know, by actually getting in the tanning bed. And I'm like, man, black people don't tan. So I start tanning and stuff and um, just make a world of a difference. I don't know what makes Protein different from anybody else because I never used anybody else. When I started with Protein, I was hooked from day, you know, from day one, so. And the greatest thing happened last year when Robert decided to do his first ever bodybuilding show. He wanted to go to the physique show. I'm like, I never thought he wanted to do it. He went through the whole thing, and I'm like, of course, I'm going to tan him. So we tanned in the warehouse, and we did the video, and it was just totally awesome. And yeah, we blew up. We got over 900,000 views. And it wasn't that the views, just the fact that here I was, being able to tan my son and watch him on stage as a parent and put myself in that situation of all these other parents that we've helped out their kids. Because everybody has parents, hopefully. They've come from parents, but you know, but to be a part of that and for them to say, oh yeah, I use this product Pro Tan and then tell their family, you know, that, that, that message just keeps growing and growing and growing. And it's cool. It's cool. So I'll tell you about this journey we went to in India. We went to the India Olympia Amateur. And uh, we had scheduled with the, with the promoter that we'd have a certain amount of people helping us there to actually help us with the tanning. We were gonna train a team of people to, to tan. And it was our goal. We had a distributor there to sell our products. So we had a booth and it was the, the idea was my wife and I would work the booth and help sell product and the two girls Carla and Chrissy and my chicas uh, would go and train the people to tan. When we got there, we had nobody to help us. Wow. And we had no converters to make our machines work. And it's my wife and I and these two other women, and by the way, we're all over 50, okay, just for the record. <laughs> and what do you do? The show goes on. So we literally tan my wife, myself, Carla and Chrissy, over 250 athletes by hand in this room, I never got to be to my booth once, my distributor's there by himself, but no one would know what we did to be successful at that show. No one would know, and by the way, we only were charging these people like $50 to tan them. Uh -huh. So it wasn't about the money, it was just about the fact that they had counted on us and we killed ourselves for 18 hours. Time, oh, by the way, I can't throw out, you know, Danny Hester was there, guest posing, tanning by hand, by the way. No other Bible in the world would do what Danny Hester does. I'm saying that on record. That guy is a saint. Tans in, teach people to pose backstage, and, and that's why I love Danny Hester. He is a true champion. We're, we're, we're as good as the people that, that we work with. And, uh, and that means from our office, people have been with me. I mean, my oldest employees have been with me for 18 years, my warehouse manager. And, my personal director's been with me for close to 16 years, and we're good because we've got a really good team. A team that works for us, and a team that we also consider our vendors that we're very loyal to and, uh, and treat us like family. So, really blessed that uh, we've put together a good team through trial and error, and the loyalty that, that the people have from my office, uh, and people that are outside of our office, all of our pro-tan chicas that have really, you know, kept us at the forefront of, of bodybuilding these past 15 years, you know, with this, you know, this whole tanning at the show business. So my name is Carla Salati. Um, I've been with them since 2003. Um, 
I was first hired with my best friend just to tan, uh, just to oil everybody backstage at the national level shows. And then it just turned into this big spray tanning, like craziness that I became a manager of. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm managing teams throughout the country, um, and I've educated teams throughout the world um, to do what we do, spray tan and oil. So. It, it's good. I thank I thank the people I work with. I'm not easy to work with. <laughs> I'm a I'm a much more much more mature person now at 53 than I was at 23. Yeah, I was a man on a mission. Get up at crack of dawn. Be relentless on on talking to people and making sure that I was part of everything. And uh, so a lot of guys put up with me. One of my friend's fathers actually owned some warehouses. I went to him and I said I said you don't really I don't really you know I'm in school I don't have any money I start this business blah blah blah. And I said, you know, I want to move, I, I want to be able to live here. I can't afford an apartment or that. He goes, you can fix it up. No one needs to know you live here. He said, but there's one condition. You're going to be my nighttime security guard, so I can give you a discount on rent. And I was like, I'm in. window called the stairs here. It had a window and had a very narrow office there. And back there was my office. I had a pull-out sofa. That's where I slept. I'm going to pull out. And then downstairs I had a small warehouse. I used to pull my truck in and this is where it started. And it used to be a car dealership here. No, we never even had an athlete in our pro tan ads. We just, you know, it started actually with the, what we call now the legacy bodybuilders and, and the Gaspari, LeBron, Sean Ray, you know, JJ Marsh, Louis Freitas, Bob Paris, Gary Stridham. I became friends with all of them. And all of those athletes, I was the place to go. So, I, you know, they were there for me and I was there to help them. and. They liked what we did, and therefore they chose us as a brand. And they did travel all over the world and carry our products. And that was, I think, what really distributed the message for us is they would go back at the Olympias or the Universe, whatever they were doing, and they'd pull out their gym bag, our products. It, it, it was that. There wasn't enough publicity that we could do. There wasn't any kind of PR stunts or campaigns we could do. We had some basic ads in the magazines, and we did a lot of shows. And we saw local people, and it just exploded from there. There was never anything like this in the industry. There was never any oils for putting on not to show besides a baby oil. There was never any self tanners used, you know. And I'll never forget, we were sitting, it was uh, my first wife and I were sitting at the dinner with Arnold and Maria Shriver and, and I would laugh with them like, Arnold, what did, what, what did you do to tan? And, and he said, I use wood stain. I'm like, that's terrible for you. You can't put wood stain on your skin. It's, it's freaking toxic. I'm in this industry that really not a lot of people know about. It was kind of a cult. And I just happened to be right place, right time. And, uh, you know, the persistent, you know, young, brash, hustling kid, you know, kind of stuck, stuck on people. I'm not sure it was a good stick or a bad <laughs> stick, but I stuck with people. Um, I think it was a good stick, though, for the most part. You know, I think Pro Tan can go on forever. Um, I think it can go on forever. We're, we're back to the office, man. It's a long journey. Taking up all the time. We got a lot done, to be yeah. honest with you. Great. We're getting ready. We got some things to roll here. It's uh, calm before the storm. So uh, let's go see what we got going on. Uh, Anwar's not here. Lori's here. Oh, Lori, you got your hat on today. You need a pro tan. What? what? Josh did that to you. You made Monty did it. I called you the county department. I'm wearing my county hat. I love it. <laughs> that's good. Monty, good job. It's a good thing. That's, yeah, that's awesome. With my accounting hat back yeah. on. That's good stuff. Let's see what you got Thank rocking you. here. Hi guys, how are we doing today? Good? I like it. Hey. I like it. You girls look good. Hey Nick! It's a light day today. Just trying to you know, everything's on. Friday, Friday, Mondays are the best. Hey, hey, uh, where's everybody? Oh, this is my oldest employee, and he's my friend, and he's been with me forever, and he runs the warehouse, and he knows everything. Uh, yes. Tell me about it. Beautiful list. <laughs> How much? What do this tell us? What drives you? Motivates you? What are those principles? Basic principles that drive Stacy. Those things that drive. You know, it's actually really simple. 
I've, I've only ever worked to be a provider for my, my family. It's not about the business. It's about the ability to provide uh, for, for your family. And then also now with having strategic partners provide for their families and the people that work for me. They become my extended family. And that's what makes me that's what makes me happy. You know, we wouldn't we wouldn't be the company we are without having the people. I, I'm not a one man show. So you know, we're unstoppable. I believe that. And we're gonna have fun doing it. And we hope we touch a lot of people that that, that uh, have fun with us. And that's part of what we love that we travel, but that was a great experience because we went with a translator and I'll tell you, we got there and um, she was concerned because this is the first time our Chinese tanning team was tanning at this show. So this was a national championship for China. Like, oh my God, you haven't trained. She went there to train them. She was complaining, oh my God, Stacey, they're, they're not listening to me, blah, blah, blah. But I'm gonna tell you what happened. We went there, we had a great thing. I wound up doing an on-stage presentation in front of four, over 400 people. We had a translator there and we did a demonstration. It was great. When the show started, they, the guy got on the horn. The tanning people that, that, we, that we didn't get to they knew everything. We asked them how they, they watched our videos. They were so good. They watched our instructional videos. And my, our girl, our head trainer, I was in Nashville, was a train, which is really good. She was blown away.